Hey everybody, Kplum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went to the Nugget Bridge and we did some training. And uh, yeah, we caught some new encounters as well. We added a new addition to the team actually. We have Ashley here, the Jinx, Ice Psychic type, with Pound and Lovely Kiss. So I am recording this episode the same day as the last episode, after taking a little break to blow my nose into oblivion and research Jinx a little bit. And it turns out that Ashley, our Jinx, in Generation 1, will get Ice Punch at level 31, and it does get some other pretty good moves. So. Honestly, I would consider it worth using. I know we do already have an Ice type, but the fact that we got rid of Executor takes the Psychic overlap out, and yeah, I don't mind using a duplicate type. I'm higher on Ice types than most people are, and in Generation 1, they're not as bad as they get in some of the later generations. And Psychic types in this gen are honestly just great, so yeah, no complaints here. But dude, that sprite is bad, oh my god. I can see why they changed Jinx's sprites in the later games. Okay, that is a little bad. Who dear. It's Lapras. But yeah, so, um, this episode is recorded straight after the last episode, so we're doing more of the same. We're just going through the routes above Cerulean and doing some training. It's good to get these levels before the gym because honestly, mm, th what's her face? I was about to call her May. That's not her name. That's the rival in Gen 3. Um, Misty. That's the one. I knew it was an M name. Misty can be a little bit of a challenge in this game, so I think it's a good idea to actually get these levels. And now that we have Ashley, it's good to get her leveled up as well. Because she's a little bit behind the rest of the team. Everyone's a little bit ahead of her. And we are going to bind. Bind, I say. Bind, bind, bind. Please. What the frick? This move is not this inaccurate. How does it miss twice? Game. I do not understand this game sometimes. Like, the leg of the missing is so dumb. I defy the odds. And honestly, when I jump on the missing mind, I might just be the video. Like, I might just be the one I made at the time. I might actually, like, see the audio. So you might hear me in general right now. Or at least you might hear me in general case. As a possibility. Oh, yeah, but I just don't want to do this game because I'm not going to do this yet. But yes, so, if you're hearing me in general right now, say, I don't know. Hey, I don't want to do this game. I don't want to do this game. I don't want to do this game. And if I speak slowly like this, it might sound normal. Well, I can do it at the time. Ah, I can still see that name. Version. You're still alive, bro. What the frick? I should have admitted that we were not here. Thanks, bro. I know I can, like, just have it, but, you know, it's whatever. Alright, good. You're dead. You're dead, son. Finally. Jesus. See, that's the thing, Serpentine is a good Pokemon, but dang, is it annoying to kill things with it. Like, that was a grueling battle. A grueling battle, indeed. Alright, let's fight you. Local trainers come here to practice! I mean, hey, I'm here and I'm practicing murdering you all, so hey, I guess something's working out, right? Jesus. Oh! Hey Zapdos! Hey buddy old pal! I was talking about you the other day. I mean, the other day being like last week when last week's episode came out, but yes, I did talk about you, bro. I said, oh, how I would love to have a Zapdos on the team. You could be a great Pokemon on my team, but I would have to run into you and then catch you, which is a. Uh, not the most likely thing in the world. It would be nice if it happened, though. Drill Pack ain't gonna do much to me. This is a Pokemon that Serpentine can actually kill with relative ease. Which is definitely nice to see. Yay! Ashley's level 12! Yes, girl! Go piss, girl. Get those levels. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna switch back. Get some switch training done. But we can't stay in, because Ice types are still weak to Fighting types, which is a little bit annoying. But Psychic does counteract that weakness. Uh, I guess let's go into Bulbous? I guess! Why not? I mean, Bulbous can take care of this guy, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, but double hit, that's annoying. Why are you doing this, sir? 
Alright, uh, Vine Whip. Should take you down in, like, three Vine Whips? Oh, two Vine Whips. Even better. Double Kick should not be very effective. Yeah, because we're a Poison type. You noob! How did you not know this? Huh. Well, you're dead now, Sunny Boy. Oh my god. What the frick does Sunny Boy even mean? Sunny Boy! <laughs> Alright, well, at least we got... Got to level 22. Oh my god, are we finally learning the powder moves? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Forget growl. Growl and learn poison powder. That could be good. I don't know if we get sleep powder in this generation, but poison powder on Bulbasaur could actually be pretty good, to be honest. So I am not complaining. Uh, we'll fight you, and then I guess maybe after this dude, we can go to the Pokemon Center. You don't wanna see Bill? Oh, well, you gotta fight me first! I'm Bill's bodyguard! <laughs> I mean, hey, this man is chonky. He could be a bodyguard. I would not mess with this Mr. Sir over here. Alright, Ashley. This might be another instance of sped up blah blah blahs. Cause, uh, look at that damage! Oh, we can kill it! This is gonna take a damn second! My gosh! Found that metabot, found that metabot, found it, found it, found it. I was gonna start saying some gross thing, but I'm not gonna go there. I ain't gonna do it, not on this day. But seriously, what was Kingfree thinking with a sprite? It is, it is not good. I'll say that much. But like, anyways, metabot, metabot's a cute sprite. That's actually a pretty good sprite for general standards. That metabot sprite, top notch. I don't mind it, it's cute. But yes, now that you've parted so many times, you cannot raise your defense anymore. You are as hard as you will be. Yes, I do know the euphemism that is implemented in there. And honestly, I do not care to acknowledge euphemism. It is a fact of life that metabots are hard. They are not soft, they are hard. As a rock, to be honest, I mean, hey. Metabots could be a rock type, honestly. Bug rock, hey, let's go. I mean, at least we're gonna get, like, <laughs> experience for this, but I don't even know if it's worth it, to be frank with you. Getting Ashley up to level 31 is going to be annoying, but once we get Ice Punch, she is going to be a queen. A queen among men. Um, do we even lose any health in that fight? We can do another Drainer. Why not? That took me to a great party! I went on the ball! Yay! <laughs> Good for you, kid. You got money to go on boats? Heck yeah for you. I mean, like, I would love to go on a cruise, that would be fun, but alas, I don't think that's in the cards, not for me, not right now. Um, coughing has good physical defense, but not so great special defense, so I think water gunning might be the way to go. I hope it doesn't have explosion yet, although I feel like it might, which means Sing might be a good plan of action. Also, I know a lot of people bring this up when they talk about Gen 1 sprites. But look at that coughing sprite, they literally messed up where the cross and skull bones are supposed to go. Like the skull and cross bones are supposed to go below his face, but uh, yeah, the sprite kind of got messed up. Oh my god, you woke up right away? Dude, uh, not cool man, not cool. You know what else is not cool? Missing Sing twice. Thank you. Complain about it, and you will have it fixed. Why did this man wake up one turn after getting put to sleep? The riggery! The riggery of it all. Thank you! Stay sleeping so you don't get tired in the day. And you're done, sir! Yay! Ashley is level 14! Nice! I'm not mad! I'm gonna go on a cruise ship now! Uh, I know I'm getting a little risky for the bisky with challenging all these trainers. But I mean, we're not losing health! Like, if I lose more health, then yeah, obviously I'll go to the center and heal, but... I've gone through those past few trainers without losing that much health, so... It hasn't really been worth it, to be honest. Oh, it's Persian again! How you doing, girl? Persian's a cute Pokemon, to be honest. I like Persian. Uh... I wish Karate Chop was fighting, because then I could just murder this cat. But... Alas... Brussel is actually starting to fall behind in levels, because it's... our only level 20 right now. I think before we go to the gym leader, I might top everyone up to level 23. That might be something that I do. But we'll see how our levels are at the end of this area. Because we might get a lot of experience still. And that would be nice if we did. 
Because trainers tend to get more experience than wild encounters, which is nice. Okay. Um... There's not much I can do to the boy. Kind of in a little bit of a predicament. Barrage. Ooh, don't love that. That can do a lot of damage. But it didn't, luckily. Poison powder. And we can't leaf seed because it is a grass type. But that's fine because we have a poison. Does a little bit of chip damage at least. Um, I don't have a great team for this Pokemon. Could I go into Brussels? Because you only have Barrage. But how much is this going to do? Oh! Not as much as I thought. I just don't want to waste healing items. And I know it's my fault for not going to the Pokemon Center. Okay, so Barrage was doing three, right? So you're not going to kill me this turn, at least. I should have at least this turn fine. Yes. Okay. I should theoretically be good. Because I could do 15 damage. I don't know if that is certain. Oh. That's annoying. <laughs> My whole team's asleep. Uh, what the frick? Uh, it's fine. I uh, might have to risk Tulip. I think it can tank a barrage. But it has such low health and it's so frail. Okay. That's, that's what we like to see. We like to see misses. Hopefully this kills. It didn't. Uh, four damage. That's a little dangerous. Of course it hits. All five times. Why wouldn't it? I'm just gonna quick attack. Boom, bitch. You're dead. You're dead, son. <laughs> All right. That was a little dangerous. I think it's time we go heal at the Pokemon Center. I will be back shortly. All right, I'm back and we are fully healed up, which is nice to see. And I gotta tell you, every time I cut and go to that darn Pokemon Center, I always gotta blow my nose now, at least for the last two episodes that is. Dang, I, I, I don't know what's happening with this allergy season. It is not cute, I will tell you that much. Aerodactyl, if only I had an ice type move, I could have murdered you. But alas, I do not. I think this is a good Pokemon actually for Tulip to take out. We have the level advantage and we have the type advantage. Thunder Shock. Yeah, there we go. Look at you pulling your way, Pikachu. Nice. I'm telling you, if we get a Raichu soon, that would be nice. Because there's not many moves as a Pikachu that I care to learn anymore, so... The minute we have the ability for a Raichu, I think I'm gonna go for it, to be honest. That's a Nidorina! Look at that! Nidorina kinda looks like a pig, not gonna lie, in this generation. I mean, I guess it's kind of cute if you're into that, but not my cup of tea. I mean, like, <laughs> that sounded bad the way I worded it. <laughs> I hope you're not into pigs. Please do not be into pigs. This isn't um, episode one of Black Mirror. I gotta tell you, I only watched the first episode of Black Mirror, and that whole plot line very much deterred me from ever wanting to watch that show in full. Gosh, that was messed up. Those who know, know what I'm talking about. That was gross. I I know it's a good show. I know it's critically acclaimed. A lot of people really like it. But dude, that was messed up. Pikachu, all you can do is quick attack me. Your other moves are useless. <laughs> We could also growl, I guess. Uh, tackle, because I don't want to risk missing. I mean, tackle can also miss, but, you know, Doduo. 
I could just hog the experience on Serpentine, but we are still in the midst of Switch training. To be honest, I might actually just try to... Oh my god, why do I always miss? Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Also, I missed again. It's literally 75% accurate. I could have taken that Doe Duo if I had better luck. But, alas. And to be honest, I'm paranoid about having low health on my Switch Train Pokemon. So I am actually going to go back to the center and heal again. Which is so stupid, but like... I am playing this Nuzlocke so safe. Alright, I will see you soon. Okie dokie artichokey, I'm back and Ashley's healed up. I... I gotta say. I am playing this Nuzlocke very much safe, but this is how I play my Nuzlocke when I'm not recording them. I do not take chances, I do not play around with my Pokemon, I go back to the center after every battle if need be. Like I am even more precautious when I'm playing by myself. So, you know, me playing with this level of caution is not abnormal for me. I am definitely a conservative Nuzlocke player. And I think it makes me better at the game because I don't take chances. But, yeah. I know that some people might want the drama of my Pokemon dying, and yes, that could happen. But, in my mind, having my Pokemon die is sort of inevitable, given that this is a randomizer, and given that I have a level increase that I implemented on myself voluntarily. So, I am not going to make the game even harder for myself, beyond those challenges that I put in place. I feel like there's going to be points where I lose Pokemon and that's going to be inevitable and um, I just want to minimize that as much as possible. So if I play this Nuzlocke extremely cautious, I'm sorry, I know it's not the most entertaining, but alas, TMO4, 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 what is this? EXPLOSION! Uh, not using that ever! Gonna sell that the first chance I get. Explosion is literally useless in the Nuzlocke because it kills the Pokemon that you're currently using in order to get a big burst of damage on the enemy. Obviously in a Nuzlocke where your Pokemon can't faint, that is not good. Hey Machamp, how you doing bro? Huh, Jesus Cry is funny. Okay. I guess. Brussel? Yeah, we have the levels. Matchup is a stronger Pokemon overall, but we do have the level advantage, so I'm not too worried. Please don't do a lot. Ooh, that did a lot. Please do a lot. Oh, that didn't do a lot. God damn, even with the level advantage, we are in danger of a crit. Oh, I didn't mean to run, I wanted to code Pokemon. I do not like Machamp getting all up in my grill, trying to kill my Pokemon that's five levels above it. That's not very nice of you. That's not very cash money of you, bro. What does the cash money meme even mean? Cause like, I know my friends use it and we have an emote on our Discord. That's like the, oh, that's not cash money of you. But what the frick does that even mean? Is, is that just a way of saying, oh, that's not cool. You're so uncool, sir. Mr. Matchup, you're a total dork. <laughs> See, that's the interesting thing about me. I have friends who are very up on their internet culture and I know things, like I know the memes, but a lot of the time I'm late to the party. Like I'll find out about a meme like, five or six years after it's a thing and I'm like oh yeah that's the one but like people are like Caleb that's like five years old dude like what the frick what are you doing with your lifetime I'm like dude I'm sorry I can't keep up with the hip kids I'm so sorry I wish I could but I can't oh my gosh Gus is doing way too much damage holy crap oh we missed if this is a crit... Okay! Uh, not risking that no more! 
I should not have risked it the first time when I used Thunder Shock. Of course, you stand attack as once and we miss twice. Because that's just my luck nowadays. Because Jesus Christ, we can't have nice things. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew I'd lose too. Uh, yeah, revisionist history. You knew you would lose. Fudge off, bro. You are such a silly billy boy. I cannot. I cannot deal. I really cannot. Oh gosh. Why is my team hurting like this already? Everyone's in pain. Everyone's took damage except for Ashley, who is switch training. My friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm jealous of her. Well, how about you go get yourself a cute Pokemon? Oh, but you just want to fight me. That's so silly, Billy, of you. Tentacle. Fudge off. Tentacles have been the bane of my existence. They have almost killed my Nuzlocke on several occasions already. And we're only just now, like, near the second gym. Like, that tentacle, or no, it wasn't even a tentacle. Oh, I should remember that this guy has Ice Beam. This guy has Ice Beam. I forgot. I can't even go in to... Ugh, okay. New plan. This guy has Ice Beam, right? Or am I going crazy? I mean, the one at the gym had Ice Beam. I'll tell you that. But Tentacles have almost killed my Pokemon several times already, and we're only in, like, the first bit of the game. Because Tentacle almost killed my Bulbasaur at friggin' the first gym. And then... They almost... <laughs> The Tentacle did not want to join my party. That was one of our failed captures. So the Tentacle line has been a little bit rude to me in this Nuzlocke already. And uh, I do not forget these things, even though I clearly forgot for a brief moment that a Tentacle had Ice Beam that almost killed my Bulbasaur. Which is scary, to say the least. Oh, you woke up. I'm gonna sing to you again, and it hit. Nice. We've been having bad luck with the sings and the other status moves and anything that can miss has been missing, so... I swear, there was one meme I saw, I forget what Pokatuber said this, but one of them told their audience one time, if the move is not 100% accurate, then it is 50% accurate. And that is so true to me. Like, any move that says 95% accurate, it feels like it only hits 50% of the time. Any move that's 75% accurate, it feels like it only hits 50% of the time. And you feel like it should hit more based off the probability of hitting, but it doesn't. And it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, ditto. Uh, ditto, 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 ditto. I have an idea for ditto. I actually have an idea for this one. And I think this is smart. We are going to... A. Well, I mean, honestly, we can just rock pro it, get some damage in. But it's not going to matter because... It's going to transform. And then I can go into lock, and I have a move that is four times effective. There you go, Ditto. I played you. Oh, that's super effective. God damn. What the frick, dude? No! No, 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 no! Not using my... Okay, good. Sorry, that was an overreaction. So, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. But hey, it still worked. I got the super effective off. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Not the match amp. Not the match amp. Okay, um, I don't like Machamp. Okay, it's level 14, but that is still dangerous. Machamp is dangerous at even like a very low level advantage. Leaf Seed, that's not very effective. Good, 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 good. That's the damage we like to see. Wasn't that much. I'm also going to Poison Powder you if I can hit it. I really hope I can hit Poison Powder. 
so we can do even more chip damage. Because honestly, that's the name of uh, Venusaur's game. Toxic, Leech Seed. It's a good strategy. Toxic, Leech Seed, Double Team, and then a Stab Move. That is a pretty good Venusaur set that I might go for in this playthrough if I get the opportunity to. Okay. Find Whip should kill now. And I know that I could have gotten Ashley some switch train experience, but I didn't want to risk it. Wasting a turn trying to do switch training could have been lethal in that scenario. I'm not so jealous! Jealous. Gosh, I can speak good Canada. Jesus, I speak good Canadian. English is my first language. It actually is. I am not lying about that. Okay. Yep, that's the way back, but we gotta go talk to Bill. That's the whole reason we came up here, to this hellhole. Let's talk to you, Mr. Bill. Oh look, Bill's a Pokemon! Oh yeah, I'm a Pokemon! No, I'm not! Hey, call me Bill! I'm a true blue Pokemaniac! Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not Josh and you, I'm John and you! It's so dumb. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about help me out here? Oh, I'm gonna go in the teleporter. Oh my gosh, just press a button and maybe it'll work. I hope to God you don't press the self detonate button or else I fry like a fish on a Tuesday. I interacted with the teleporter. Yay, let's do it. <laughs> This man literally just changed his DNA to turn back into a human. What the frick is this science, man? I want to be a Pokemon. Sign me up, bro. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come see my Pokemon collection? Oh, you didn't. That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here we go. This will do. We got an SS ticket. That cruise ship is the uh, one in Vermilion, and it's famous there, yeah, they have parties and stuff. But I don't do that stuff because I'm a weak boy and I don't do no parties. I'm a basic Brenda, if you ever saw one, throw me in the blender. Okay, well you go to the party then, bye. I'm gonna go blend myself and turn me into a Pokemon once again. Jeez, that was a weird dude. Y'all y'all agree, right? That man was a little strange, to say the least. But hey man, at least he gave us a free cruise. Heck yeah. That's freaking epic, honestly. I'll take your free cruise ship bill any day of the friggin' week. Yes. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Naughty or nice. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's heal up again. And with that, I say we are done for this episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. We finished up another route that was north of Cerulean, and we went and saw Bill, and we got the SSN ticket. So we actually did make quite a bit of progress this time around. So, next time on Pokemon Red, Randomizer Nuzlocke, we will go and face Misty, the second gym leader. It should be a wild time. If you enjoyed this video at all, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it would greatly help out the channel. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.